What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to some more Adventure Quest news. We have a bunch of news for this week and next week, including uh, Adventure Quest's eighth birthday. This game has been is eight years old now, so it's been around for eight years. That's more. Than, that's about half. That's a little less than half my life. That's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. I'll be 18 October 13th for anyone that's curious. 18. Oh my god, 18 years old. Jesus Christ. So this, this game came out when I was 10 years old. Dear God. And I'm I was born in the same month this game w was started. So very very interesting stuff there. So we're gonna be talking about the eighth birthday and a uh, bunch of small green stuff and stuff like that. So let's get into the video. All right. So first things first, we have the Third of Darkness saga finale. So Alina uh, told Artix that the the finale was so good that it should be the eighth birthday event. So that's what they did. They made it the eighth birthday event. There's a little insight. Uh, Alina posted that somewhere. I don't know. But that's kind of a little bit of backstory. So apparently it's so good that they wanted to make it their eighth birthday event. Which if you don't, if you haven't been playing AQ for that long, their birthday events are always pretty decent. Like last year I think was the Artifact Hunter? Or was that Collector? I don't know what last year's was, but uh, they're pretty good every year. And we're going to finally finish the Throne of Darkness in part two. I think it's part two of the finale, right? Or part one? I don't know, maybe it's both parts combined, maybe they combine the parts, I, th I thought they were going to do a two-part finale, I don't know, but the finale is going to hit, that's going to happen, let's move on to the next thing, that is next week, by the way, Celestial Cleaver, is that Cleaver? Yeah, it looks like Cleaver, okay, so the armor, the helmet, there's going to be a blade, click the sword to turn it into a pull arm, so pretty cool, that's like actually a nice blade, I want that blade. Uh, this is going to be in the October feature gear shop. So this gear right here uh, Some of that might interest some people. I don't know uh, Some might go good with your set I'm definitely gonna pick up that blade because it looks dope and it's one of the blades that if you click on it they change That will be available until October 28th, and I think it's coming out. Yeah, it's coming out this Friday Something fun. All right, so we have some ice cream ice cream cone surprise helmet coming next week uh, so 64 scoop ultra ice cream. So if you don't know, Adventure Quest, uh, they, they don't really realize their game is running on a flash player. And uh, sometimes they like to add items to the game just to make people mad, I guess. I don't know. Well, I'm actually, I'm happy this item's going to come with the game because it looks awesome. Here's an in-game screenshot of it. Um, 64 scoops of ice cream on a helmet. Uh, so if you want to lag try to headbang with that on that would be uh, great so 64 scoops of ice cream wasn't enough so we had to scream for more dear god actually that's probably that's more than 64 scoops probably right there so yeah okay so that will be a helmet soon if anyone was curious about that that is pretty crazy uh, here's another helmet. Speaking of helmets, we have the old Twilly art design, the original Twilly art design for the original uh, Adventure Quest, the original Adventure Quest game, which is still playable and still supported. That game is 10 years old, I think. Maybe older. Maybe 15 years old. I don't know how old that game is, but that game is old. And uh, that is what Twilly used to look like before uh, uh, Nelgap got to it, Twilly. All right. <laughs> A class. A very, a very nice looking class. I really love this armor. Some people have mixed opinions on it. I think it's very nice looking plate armor. So this is the Evolve Paladin class. This is the birthday class for this year. This will be coming out on the 16th of October next weekend. Next Friday, not this Friday. We don't have a lot of information on this Friday's update. But we do have a bunch on next. So the 8th birthday, this class looks awesome. And I can't wait to get it. It was confirmed to be a farmable non-member class or was it confirmed non-member it was confirmed farmable i'm pretty sure it's non-member someone can uh correct me if it's not a non-member in the comment section and you guys can upvote that comment if it uh if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure it's a non-member farmable class like the previous birthday classes hopefully it's not daily all right so so Mulgoween stuff uh they're still gonna do a Mulgoween event i think and uh like another one i don't know but some cool art from Arnix. Very, very nice looking stuff. 
Kulaun has a skeleton. I think we've seen this before. I think I've seen this before. But that could be a future art, a future uh, item, maybe some items in the future. I don't know. I don't know what this is. So it's just there and it looks nice. Some more future items. I really like that. Uh, what do you call that? Like a uh, skirt? I don't, I don't know what that is. Like the, uh, it's not a cape. It's like a, a, a kilt maybe. I don't know what that is. But I like the design on it. It looks nice. And uh, that mask looks pretty, pretty, pretty nice. I say pretty way too much. This might be a hint at, if you look at the background, you can see like the candy corn in the field. Uh, this might be a hint at uh, map design for a future map. Also, the squirrel kin or the pumpkin squirrel, whatever it's called, that only asked for a name for it. Uh, it looks pretty creepy and uh, really weird. Uh, I don't know. It's it's a squirrel thing, so that might be in a future event. Maybe a boss that would be a hilarious boss, and I'd love to see the animations for that. Our last and final little news bit. I'm going through them pretty fast today because it's not really a lot of news, uh, especially for this week. Like, a lot of the news in the news is for next week. So, I don't know. I guess we know what's happening next week. It would be, be nice to know what's happening this week. Maybe it's probably just a filler update. But uh, we have the open beta. Uh, it's confirmed to be not confirmed. Well, it's, uh, it's coming out around the 18th. Uh, I think they've confirmed open beta before, like, for September or something. But it's October 18th. Um... Adventure Quest 3D, my thoughts on it are, the, 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 just watch any of my streams on, it. go to my channel and watch any of my streams on Adventure Quest 3D. A lot of things needed, I could talk for hours about the things that need to change. Uh, here are the few main pointers uh, for things that need to change. If anyone from our entertainment is watching to the end of this news video I uploaded, that's, I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. Thank you for watching. But uh, a few things do need to change with AQ 3D. Uh, first off. Uh, microtransactions, you're doing them wrong, okay? Uh, it's just flat out wrong. Uh, crafting is not a good idea for microtransactions. It never would be. Uh, they were Items were dropping off mobs and bosses in the alpha, and then you changed it so we had to craft the items, and it, uh, the crafting is set on timers, real-life timers. So like a, like a normal starter, like level 3 item takes like 15 minutes, and then if you get a level 5 item, it takes like 30 minutes. And there's items in the game that take up to three days to craft. So that's like that's three real life days, not like in game days, like in GTA where the day days are 60 minutes or whatever. It's real life days to craft items, which is crazy and would not want would make me turn me off the game so fast if I started playing that game and then saw that it would just turn me off instantly. The only reason I still put up with it a little bit is because I know the devs behind it are going to continue to support it and I hope that they'll change the microtransactions in the future. But I'm, I can ramble about Adventure Quest 3D. I started rambling there. I, I could ramble about Adventure Quest 3D all day. I really think the game needs a lot of changes. They're pushing out content updates when they should be pushing out uh, base uh, features. Uh, the baseline features are not there at all, but they're pushing out content. Uh, so they're doing like updates and new areas when they should be focusing on the PvP. Uh, they should be focusing on adding uh, functionality to the game, not PvP. <laughs> that can that can come in later. That and guilds and all that. But they should be adding functionality to the game, like a an actual uh, PC UI, uh, like being able to uh, adjust your frame rate to whatever you want it to be. Um, being able just more user options like anti-aliasing and stuff like that like they need to add actual features to the game and not focus on their content that's my thoughts on that I know that they have different teams like one team does art one team does the quest lines or one person I think does quest lines or two people but they have different people for different things and I know that they pay them so they have to keep putting out content I know that that's why content's coming out for the game but if you could maybe like Get one of the guys that maybe writes a little bit of stories and get them part-time working on adding features or something like that that'd be great um because the, the features in the game aren't really up to stuff there's more content there's more areas in the game than there are features basically so that's my little ramble about aq 3d hopefully you enjoyed this video guys if you did drop a like down below uh i love seeing how many likes we can get because it's kind of makes me makes me keep wanting to make a video so i'm wanting wanting to make videos yeah yeah, yeah. i love the support 
thank you guys i'll see you guys all in the next video which the next video will actually be streamed tomorrow at 3 30 pst pacific center time that's the same time it is in la uh, west coast time so 3 30 that time i will start my live stream the update normally comes around five o'clock um pacific center time or 4 30 or three o'clock sometimes so uh it's random what time the update comes out so we start a stream at 3 30 so we're ready for the update when that comes out sometimes it comes out at 3 25 and uh the stream starts right when the update comes out so 3 30 pst tomorrow i will be doing a live stream i know it's not really eu friendly i start apologize about that the vod will be up of course on saturday once it's done processing i'll see you guys all on the live stream tomorrow night peace have a great day click the video in the top right corner if you haven't seen it yet and i'll see you all in the next one.